Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing another uh, Jailhouse Burrito taste test. Now, what I'm going to be putting into this is Smoky Bacon Walkers chips. Uh, I had to order these from the UK on Amazon. I've had this in a burrito before. It worked really well. They're a little greasy, but they're pretty good. Uh, ramen, of course. Got a uh, Slim Jim. And here's the thing that's a little different. Baby back ribs chips. Um, I got these at the Mall of America. Um, I didn't know about them until maybe about uh, a little over a week ago. Um, I found them at a five or below. You guys are familiar what that is. I haven't tried these, but I would imagine they're gonna be pretty good. So that is the different kind of thing that we're gonna be putting into our jailhouse burrito. Now I think those two flavors right there, the baby back rib chips and the smoky bacon, I think they're gonna work together really, really well. But I wanted to have something in the burrito that would kinda help bond everything together a little better and really absorb the water. I wanted this to be a standalone video, the buffalo blue cheese. Uh, they're kinda like cheese puffs. But uh, I kinda tied into them already. Uh, they are good, I like them a lot. And I think the flavor will work really, really well with everything else I have going on here. But not only that, take a look at that. It's like a cheese puff. It's gonna work really well to kind of absorb the water and um, make everything come together. I think it's gonna work together really well. Some very good flavors here. Now I say this in every one of my taste test videos, I'm not gonna give you a step-by-step -step on how to make this thing. If you watch my channel much, you know how to make a jailhouse burrito already. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing made up, give it a shot, and tell you what I think of it. All right, let's do it. All right guys, well the burrito's been sitting in its towel for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get it out of there. Nice and solid. Give it a smell before I do anything. Now you know, I put a lot of those baby back rib chips in there because I wanted it to kind of take over the smell and the taste of everything. But what's coming through more than anything is the uh, smoky bacon chips. Smell wise anyway. It doesn't smell bad. I just kind of expected it to smell a little different than what it does. Hmm. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good, actually. I'm going to go ahead and tear the bag open so I can get a thumbnail before I give it a shot. Turned out pretty good, it looks like. Take a look at that. Looks pretty good. Little beef stick poking out right there. I think this is going to be pretty good. Now, I'm calling this a baby back rib chip jailhouse burrito, but really, I think any one of the ingredients could have taken the name. Each one of them is really, really unique. And uh, But you know what? I'm just going to go with the baby back rib chip jailhouse burrito. I'm going to go with that name. And there it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to take a look at that. Doesn't that look good? It is good, too. Really good, actually. I don't think it's the best one I've ever had, the best combination that I've ever had, but it's up there. Everything works together really, really well. Um, I wanted the baby back rib flavor to come through a little bit more than it is, and I think maybe I could have added more of those chips. I put quite a few in here, but it is coming through, but uh, not as much as I wanted. Honestly, I want to say that all of the flavors come together really well, but at the same time, they kind of cancel each other out. Um, it's a good mixture, but you can't tell one taste from the other. It's really unique. I really don't know how to describe it other than that. Um, give it another bite here. Mm. Good though. I actually think this would be really good with some hot sauce. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of that off camera. Um, if I had to give this one a 1 out of 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would give it, huh, I would give it a uh, 7.5, maybe a 7. I was expecting a lot more out of it, to be honest. I mean, you have three really different flavors, and I thought putting them together would create like a really, really just amazing combination, but in a weird way, they kind of cancel each other out. Um, still good, but... Yeah, I don't think I'd do that again. I am, however, still going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this off-camera. Pretty decent. Not too bad. Could be better, though. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Uh, please take a second, like the video, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and uh, have a good day.